Uh, do I have to sing it again? Yeah, always. <laughs> I, I haven't warmed up. We 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 all we all know how the world is working right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me with my wet hair and pajamas probably yeah. makes sense. Hi everybody. Uh, today Erica and I are discussing Mario Two: The Lost Levels, which is the real Mario Two, versus what Americans know as Mario Two, which, as everyone knows, is a reskin of a different game that was not a Mario game at all. Well, most people know that. Maybe you should talk about that a little bit. Um, yeah, so the, the original Japanese game that became Mario 2 to Americans was called... Um, but it's, that, that game is all about this family that fights monsters by getting them to eat vegetables because vegetables are good for you and Japan wants you to eat vegetables. Uh, Nintendo knew that they wanted to have a sequel to Mario. So they made what in Japan was called Mario 2. It was even listed in Japan on, on the box as like four serious gamers because they knew it was a hard game. Nintendo of America thought about bringing it over, but then they played it and was like, no, this is way too hard. And they also had this other game, uh, Toki Toki Panic, that they wanted to bring over, but they're like, it's about a family eating vegetables. That's weird. That's not going to sell in the US. During all of this, they were, uh, Nintendo was working on Mario 3, and they're like, okay, we definitely are going to bring that over. Because that, that's a, you know, what they saw of it at that point was great. So like, we're definitely bringing that. But like we need, we need a Mario 2 in there to round it out. So they decided to bring in Toki Toki Panic and reskin it as a Mario game to make it more palatable to American audiences. Thank you, Dr. Oberhauser. Of course. <laughs> Diversity. Okay, those are the only two costumes that I included because it doesn't really matter for anyone. I, actually, I don't think anyone else is wearing clothes. Um, <laughs> Wasn't Toad wearing something? Oh, yeah, probably. I, I, he just looked okay. like a mushroom. Oh. Michael? Yes. It totally just hit me in this moment that to Toad's costume looks like little mushroom spots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Michael, I am 37 years old. <laughs> I've been playing this game for most of my life. <laughs> How interesting and original is the design? Can I give that an eight? No, but also this, this is the second game, so there's like almost nothing new in it. Yeah, it's just that the graphic design of that world is so much part of its charm. Um, yeah, well, but it's the exact same as the previous game. Yeah, I know. Music, the composition itself. Do, 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 do. They're all the same as the first Mario. Oh. There's nothing new. Oh, well, then five. Okay. I actually scored that lower because it was nothing new, but that's that's me. That's okay. Yeah, see, I'm not I'm not so hung up on the newness of it. Like at the time, that was pretty advanced. So the whole, I mean, and the Lost Worlds was just to give people more of what they wanted from the first one, anyway. Yeah, but also it's like that's why that's why I wanted to do the the sequel video first before mm -hmm. we did this, so that we could sort of keep those thoughts in mind. But anyway. All right, and sound effects out of five? Five. Very clean, very well synced. Uh, 
I have battles in this section, but it's in this, it, they're not really so much battles. It's just like the act of stopping monsters and stuff like that in this game. What's, uh, how, how do you rate that? I kind of want to give it a three. Okay. Because the challenge was more of getting to them rather than beating them. Once you mm -hmm. got there, it was mostly a matter of getting around them. Yeah. And the learning curve. Does <laughs> it get too hard too fast or does it stay too easy for too long? I mean, it's a five because it's hard as crap, but that's... But, the but do you like how hard it is, is the question, really. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> will, I, will I curse like a billy goat? Yeah. <laughs> but it's good and it's appropriate. We agreed on story. You gave me gave one more point than me on characters. We agreed on graphics. You gave one more point than me on design. One more point than me on sound. Two more points than me on gameplay. I found I, I mostly found this game just like so punishingly difficult that it's not it's not fun for me because it's this one is way too hard for me. So overall, your scores gave it a 93. My scores gave it a 77. You gave it a heart score of 93 also. So your, your guess matched. That's funny. I'm I gave it a 40 because I, I, I really don't like this game, actually. <laughs> um, the Just final because score, it's so hard? Yeah, it's too hard to be fun for me. The final score of just our scores, not without, and not without how we feel about it, is 85. When you add in my bad final score, it gives, it gives the game a 73. So that is a C. <laughs> and I think that's fair because Lost Levels is punishingly difficult in a way that to me is just not fun to play. And other than that, it doesn't really do too much new compared to Mario 1. Yeah, I agree that the challenge of this one is is a little obscene, <laughs> and it's it it does make it interesting. Like, what is the point of it being that difficult? But it also, you know, you think of it as a sequel, and why would you make things more difficult just for difficulty's sake? Mm -hmm. And it makes it harder to just to pick up, like just uh, as a standalone game, which was one of the good things about most of the Mario series, really all of the Mario games in all of history is that you could you could pick it up as a standalone game. You didn't really have to follow the series very well. And with Lost Levels, it's like, if you're not fully in step and in, in practice and your joints aren't loose enough and you don't know exactly what your fingers are gonna do, you're gonna miss a lot of stuff. Yeah. important NPCs. So I was thinking about this one. I think the only NPCs are those little fairy things. That you yeah, said. there really aren't too many that you can't play. Yeah. Sound effects. There weren't as many in this one. Not quite as many. There's still like the jumping and Mm -hmm. Like the climbing sound effect sticks out to me that do 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 when you climb. Mm -hmm. Battles. So, like the different types. How is like defeating enemies in this game? What's that like? It's a five. It was the first one that really took a different approach from all the other. Yeah. Okay. Games. All right, so we gave story 10 out of 10, characters nine out of 10. I, I, did, I only did four for this one just because like, the, I, like I agreed with you on like the NPCs not being super interesting. I don't find Mario or Toad very useful in this game. It's all Luigi and Princess for me. Actually, it's really all Princess for me. We, we both went pretty low on diversity and uh, gender parity. But we're, we're overall pretty close. So like I was one point below on characters 
which gave it a nine total. We agreed on graphics across the board, so that's all tens. Design, we agreed across the board, all tens. Sound, we mostly agreed across the board. Uh, there, uh, like I gave it all fives, you gave two fours. Gameplay, we pretty much agreed across the board, pretty much all tens. I gave this game a 95 total, you gave it 100. Your score also gave it 100, mine gave it a 97. Average of our scores is 98. But then including how we felt about it, that stayed at 98. So that is an A for this game. It's a good game. Yeah, and I, and I, I, I feel that's appropriate because it's so, uh, so much better than Lost Levels. And if we compare that to Mario 1, we gave that an A because it's like it was trailblazing, it was doing new things, and it's not as punishingly difficult as Lost Levels. Lost Levels, yeah. with its difficulty and its very few new things in it, to me makes it not stick out as much as an interesting um, sequel. Yeah, no, I would agree with that. And, and again, you know, if I had spent <laughs> more time playing that one as a kid, I might have more specific things to say about it, but you know, yeah. it is, it is challenging and yeah, you're right. There's kind of no point to the challenge, challengingness of it, which is not a word. Well, uh, like I also didn't grow up playing it. I didn't have this game because it wasn't released in the U S mm -hmm. until it came out on the super Nintendo with the uh, Mario all-stars. But yeah, the characters, especially in Mario two, I will, I will sort of defend to the death because like, with Mario, I, I liked playing Mario when I wanted to challenge myself, because that was the first game that I ever beat. And if I wanted to go back and challenge myself and see how well I could do, I would go with Mario because he could do the same things and sort of a base level character mm -hmm. um, all across the board. But like all the other three characters, A, it was cool that we could play them for the first time, but B, they all had their uses yeah. and their own challenges. Yeah. So, like, I, I loved using Toad because he can go so fast and he can pick things up so quickly. Mm -hmm. um, he's also just really cute to look at. <laughs> and he's good, he's good for jumping because I always tend to over jump. So, uh, you know, I could knock myself out of commission with that, which is why I don't use Luigi very much. But he has his uses too. There's certain elements of the game that nobody can get to except for him because he can jump so high. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, Princess definitely suits my play style the best. Mm -hmm. But after that, I, uh, yeah, Luigi, for what he can do that the others can't, is a nice touch, I think. Mario is so jack of all trades, master of none, that I imagine if I did play that game and I like really wanted to play it for a long time again now, I might get more out of playing with Mario, I think. But, like, as a kid, it's like, well, I want to win. And I, if I'm going to win, I'm going to play with a character that I'm good at. So I'm going to use Princess every time. <laughs> mm -hmm. But, like, some of that stuff, the, the one ice level where you're dodging all those things. Like, I, I used to have it, like, muscle memory how to get through that level with Princess. But then yeah. if I were try to do it with somebody else, like, oh, that jump feels different now. <laughs> yeah. See, for me, that was, that was me with Toad. Toad was really mm -hmm. good on ice. Mm -hmm. So, I want to play now. <laughs> yeah. If we go by the terminology that we developed for the sequel video, both Lost Levels and Mario 2 are character sequels. It's the same characters in different situations. Although in Lost Levels, it's barely a different situation. It's really just a continuation of the same game. We also talked about how, you know, just doing something to make money is fine. <laughs> Like, there's only something wrong with that if you think there's something wrong with that. And in the case of Lost Levels, I don't know. Like, it is giving something a little bit different in the increased difficulty. And for a serious gamer, that might have been really exciting and something to test yourself on. Then we get into all kinds <laughs> of debates about cheating at games and making things easier. Yeah, I think... If you have more fun doing it in some other way, then do it. It doesn't mean you're not a real gamer. It might mean you're not as talented, but that's fine. That doesn't mean you're not a gamer and you're not having a good time. Yeah, 
it gives you a chance to practice too. And I have enjoyed the, the times when I've had codes to get un unlimited free lives. It certainly helped me, especially when PlayStation came around. Yeah. But then you get to a point where you don't need them anymore. Yeah. I'm pro Game Genie, Game Shark, if you want to use it. My big thing for this one was it's, it's playability. It's sort of like welcome ability and, and its ability to customize its own gameplay just through playing with different characters. Yeah. And the story of it was always really good. The music was different. They didn't just recycle all the stuff from the previous games. They really did something new. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. This is part of why Mario is just such an all-time favorite for me across the board with, with video games. Yeah. I always liked Mario 2 the best. Even for things as seemingly simple as Princess doesn't need to be rescued this time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she can now she out. can get in on the action. Yeah. She'll fly on those birds across that empty chasm. God knows what was down there. <laughs> well, I think that's it for mm -hmm. this recording. Like, can I make myself bigger? <laughs> the question men have been asking themselves for the last <laughs> year.